Technocrats in the public service have been charged to be wary of their actions and undertaken in order to distinguish themselves from ordinary political office holders. This charge was given at the 15th edition of the National Association of Judiciary Correspondent Public Lecture held at Musan Sector in Lagos. Galaxy News correspondent Levi Joseph was there and files in this report. The 1510AJUC Lagos Chapter Public Lecture with the theme Navigating the Delicate Balance Between Politics, Law, Media Pressure and Public Perception is geared at diagnosing issues surrounding the involvement of technocrats in the Nigerian polity and how the public perceive these combined trajectories. The guest lecturer, Dr. Moise Banyere, has said technocrats need to be actively involved in policy making, but warn them from allowing political class from using them to do things that, that will eventually hunt them later, even after leaving office. As far as the law is concerned, a technocrat has challenge. Now, what is the way out? How does this man navigate in the way that you said? maintain a delicate balance. How do you do so? I said the first thing is to, first and foremost, because it is a legal matter, it must work inevitably with the legal expert. It must collaborate with the legal expert. There must be routine advices with the legal unit. If, for example, let's say you are the head of an agency, never joke with your legal department from that to that. Dr. Banire wants technocrats to be weary of several factors that constitute burden in public offices. He said they must be conscious of the environmental and legal restrictions that limit their ability while in office, which include due process, administrative bottleneck, cultural and religious considerations, public perception, legislative interference, and media pressure. Once you, don't have, once you get the, your deal of law displaced in any society, what you have is anarchy. Then you are in a jungle. Anything goes. Survival of the fittest. That's the reality that you find yourself. So, law put in place a system of checks and balances to ensure that policies do not dominate the law. Because when they dominate the law, politicians by their natural tendency, they are very selfish. They care about themselves gladly. And if nobody checks them, they don't even mind to do share and share alike. For the law said they cannot do so. That's why it has to check and balances on it. So Speaking earlier, the chairman, NEGUC Lagos Chapter, Ulugbenga Shuyeli said the lecture is designed to serve as platform to modify effect of the law, the judiciary and the media on the society. He said without effective and functional law with active media, good governance may remain a mirage and which is inimical to the well-being of the public. As in previous years, our topic for this year's lecture was carefully selected. It aims to interrogate and suggest solutions to some of the many problems facing Nigerian society, particularly in the wake of the 2023 general election, which turned into a tribal and religious contestation instead of what it should have been, recruiting capable leaders. At the event, human rights lawyer Ebunlu Adiguru Asan received an award of excellence for his outstanding contributions and dedication to legal practice, media freedom, and human rights enforcement in Nigeria at the event. Speaking with newsmen, Adiguru Asan frowned at the current socioeconomic situations in Nigeria. He called on political class to do everything to correct the anomalies in the land. The primary purpose of government is the welfare of the people and the security of the people. So presently in Nigeria, people are suffering, people are dying. The president was at the forefront of the campaign for devolution of power and true federalism when he was in opposition. There's no reason for him to have abandoned that struggle at this time, now that he's the president of the nation. So the point we make is that the president should stand up to what he has been known for, to fight for true federalism, devolution of powers, and ensure that the suffering that is going on in this land is reduced.